So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at a couple of simple ways that you can use to count the number of words, or at least attempt to count the number of words in a string using JavaScript. So let's say we've got this piece of text stored in a variable. It's only short, but just so you can see uh, on the page what we're actually trying to count. So you can see here we've got six words, the quick, brown, fox, and I. It's probably not great English, but I want to put in a single I uh, just to throw that in there to consider whether or not that should be counted as a word. Um, just for the purposes of this tutorial, I will be counted as a word. Okay, so the first thing that people will probably reach for is the split function. Um, it gives you a bit of a rough and ready view of how many words might be in this uh, text. So if we have our function word count here that takes the argument of text, we'll just call the split function on the string that's passed in, and we're going to split it on a singular white space. And if we save that and run the code, you can see that the uh, array that's been returned has got all of the component uh, words in there. So if we just want to return the length from that, uh, you can see that we've got six words in our text that's been passed into the function. Of course, things start falling apart when there are other types of punctuation in here. So for example, after the quick brown, if we put a comma, and although there should be, if there was no direct white space after the brown and fox, then our word count drops to five, which is obviously incorrect. Uh, things get really interesting as well if we add in a few more spaces in there as well. So our word count will jump to eight. And also if we put uh, special characters like tabs in as well, uh, for example, our word count will increase even further. So as you can see, text.split on a singular white space is not a very effective way of counting words, although it can provide you with a bit of an indication if that's the only option that you've got. However, if you've got the ability to use the split function, what you might consider passing in instead of a singular white space is a regular expression. So here we're going to pass in a pattern to match in our text, and we could include things like commas, spaces, special tab characters, etc., and check for those to be uh, split on. But what's more effective is to look for sequences of characters along the string, and then actually uh, split the string based on those matches that the regular expression finds. So a simple way to do this is to pass in the negative white space operator, so basically matching anything that uh, isn't some form of white space, and then use the plus operator to match one or more of those characters. And that should hopefully match all of the words that we've got in our text uh, and ignore any white space that we might have in there. So as you can see, if we run the function again, our word count drops back down to six and we can put as many spaces in or as many commas as we like and the word count should stay static for any variation of this text that we put in. So this isn't completely perfect. So for example, if we add in another comma, at the end of here and have the and straight afterwards. Our word count drops to five because this has been considered as one word. So if you needed an exact count, then you might need to tweak this regular expression a little bit more. But for most purposes and for a simple way of getting a word count from a string, uh, this should be sufficient for just matching those sequences of characters which look like words. So you go, there's a quick and easy way to count the number of words in a string in JavaScript. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.